Hi, my name is Ben, the Mini Paint Slinger, and I'm going to teach you how to strip minis. Hey y'all, this is Ben, the Mini Paint Slinger here again, and I am back to share some of my knowledge that I've learned over the years of painting miniatures. And today's particular subject, we're going to be looking at this model specifically, Professor Fletcher of the Undead or Alive version of Zombicide, the board game. I decided to go ahead and paint the tokens up because I thought it would be fun. And in this particular subject, I am going to be stripping the paint off of the models. The reason why I'm doing that is because I accidentally did a couple things wrong with touching this model um, with my hands. Specifically, I had just got done eating food and I had touched the model and some of the grease from my food has actually transferred to the model which created a splotchy look with the contrast paint because it will actually repel the paint um, when you apply it to the model. Sorry to interrupt, this has been from the future here. To prevent this in the future, the easiest way to do it is simply wash your hands before you mess with your model or wear gloves. All right, back to the video. The other reason why I want to go ahead and strip it is because of how detailed these models are. Uh, sometimes when you run into this case of you put the wrong colors on, or as you can see here, I put much too green of a color on and much too bright compared to her actual card. And if you go ahead and reprime it, which would be the simplest way to fix this, it can fill in the intricate details of the model itself, and that can lead to a more bland looking model. Uh, not saying that that's the wrong way to do it, you can go ahead and do it however way you want, but that would be the simplest solution. The other solution you could do would be to go ahead and strip the model. Um, by doing that, I will show you in a few minutes here, of how you can go ahead and strip the paint by using LA's Totally Awesome General Purpose Cleaner, which I personally like to use, and I think it's the best product to do this with, for a couple reasons. One, it's cheap. Cheap is always a good thing, especially in this hobby when you're spending lots and lots of time working on these models, and you're spending a lot of money as well as uh, into this hobby. Uh, number two, it's also really good because it takes it all the way down to the primer and you can either then wash the model from there and restart with the primer that's already on the model previously or if you want to you can soak it even further and with a little bit of elbow grease and a hard toothbrush you can scrape the paint uh, of the primer all the way off and go down to bare plastic that would be the most ideal and then you would reprime after that there's other methods to go ahead and do this, and over the years, I've tried many different things, such as Purple Power, uh, Simple Green, you've probably heard a lot about. Um, I've done my favorite, which is LA's Totally Awesome General Purpose Cleaner. And then the other uh, big kahuna in the realm of strip of paint is isopropyl alcohol, or rubbing alcohol. Um, however, just to recap real quickly as to why I specifically like to use LA's Totally Awesome is because, again, it's inexpensive to get. You can get it either at a general uh, dollar store, you can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, most hardware stores. Uh, you can even get it at Walmart. Um, but again, it's only a few dollars to get it. I think like a, a big jug of the stuff is only like eight bucks US, that is. So eight dollars US currency. And when you use other things uh, such as like purple power or simple green uh, those also work really really well and i'm not knocking those people that actually like to use that and it's also a safe way to do it if you're if you're wanting to strip your models and not really want to have a big hassle or a mess but you have to leave the models in for a very long time in some cases in order to get the paint to actually peel away from the primer uh, the other problem I found with that is not only the time it takes, because we're talking, you know, you might have to let it sit in the solution for 12 hours or overnight. 
Uh, the other problem is that certain plastics I found, specifically from things like uh, Bolt Action, uh, the game from Warlord Games, or in some cases, uh, Games Workshop model products, uh, it can actually, uh, specifically with the resin uh, models, it can actually cause them to become like rubber. And that's, or it could also have an effect where it causes it to be very brittle and break, which either of those you don't want to do uh, for obvious reasons, because then you would have to replace the model itself, which we're trying not to do that here. But using the LA is totally awesome. I've not had any problems with it as far as stripping paint from models. Uh, I think it's a great way to do it, inexpensive, yeah, safe to do. And uh, that's what we're going to be showing in a minute here. The only other thing that I talked about was uh, the rubbing alcohol. And the reason why that one I don't particularly go for first is because that will take off everything. And that's, that's what we're looking for. However, there is a, a risk with using rubbing alcohol, which is, one, you're using rubbing alcohol. That's really harsh on your skin, and you shouldn't have it. Um, uh, on you for very long at all, so definitely use gloves if you can. And the other reason for that is because if you were to, say, use a ultrasonic cleaner, the problem with using rubbing alcohol is that it actually could cause a fire potentially, so don't ever, ever, ever put rubbing alcohol in an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, you can do that perfectly safely with LA's Totally Awesome, so if you want an even better way to clean it without actually having to do a lot of scrubbing yourself, that's another way you can go about doing this. So, so let's go ahead and take this model and we're going to take it over to the uh, bathroom, which is where I'm going to be going ahead and stripping the paint. And I will show you really easily how that's done. All right, everybody, welcome back to the second half of stripping the miniature with uh, LA's Totally Awesome. And this is actually what it looks like. Uh, it's a large jug of this stuff, but it's LA's Totally Awesome General Purpose Cleaner, and I find it absolutely wonderful for stripping minis. What you're gonna be needing is you're gonna be needing at least a hard toothbrush. You definitely wanna have some kind of container that you can put the uh, LA's Totally Awesome in. And then of course your subject piece, which is this model. Uh, again, I apologize for the lighting in here. I just had a bulb go out. So it's a little bit darker. I'll try to brighten it up in the video, but uh, just to show you in real time here, we'll just fill this up. You don't really need that much, but then you just give it a few minutes. Not even that. And there you have it. I have stripped all the paint off and gotten it right down back to the uh, Gray Sear and Wraithbone primer that I did. I did a uh, an overhead highlight with it, which is why it looks a little bit shadowed and contrasted. But again, LA's Totally Awesome is that fast to use. It took me two minutes and 30-something seconds. 
I believe, and boom, uh, instantly done. So you can even start to see that it started to take away some of the uh, the primer itself in that short amount of time right there, if you can see at the end of the uh, uh, toothbrush. So it's really great stuff, and I highly recommend it. But uh, if you... Uh, have any questions or uh, concerns about how to use it safely? Um, one, ask your parents if you're uh, of younger age. But two, um, I haven't had any problems with this. Uh, you can uh, use it on pretty much anything that I'm aware of, uh, as far as miniatures goes. Wise, um, but it's a, a fantastic product, and uh, hopefully this will help you strip some minis that you've been wanting to strip, and save you some time and money in the future. So. As you can see here, this is the completed result after stripping all the paint off. It is now down to just the primer itself and it's ready to be painted up again. So hope this helps you out and happy painting in the future. See you next time.